Hi, hello, and welcome to my floss tube. Uh, this is a floss tube extra today. I'm finally doing it. So um, I was thinking, I've been on floss tube for over a year, and I want to talk about floss this time, not just floss and thread and all of that, but how I organize my floss, my master set, how I do it with projects, um, extra threads, floss drops, everything. Well, everything I can think of. <laughs> I will forget something. Uh, if my sound is a little bit off, it's because I got a new computer. So hopefully you won't notice, but anyways, so um, I know I I've said that I work from a master set. If you don't know what that is, is that instead of kitting up every project with a bunch of threads or the threads you need and keep them in or with that project, I have a full set of DMC that I pull the threads from and when I'm done with them, I put them back. Um, I didn't start by doing that, but when I got to a certain number of whips, I found out that I had like, I was kind of struggling because I had, I had the threads in with the projects and then I wanted to kit up something new. I had to buy a full new set and then I had like three skeins of the same color and it kind of didn't work for me. So. I don't know how much of this I am gonna be able to fit in, but I will show you half of my master set because I had two of these. These are, wow, I can actually get this pretty good into frame. That's awesome. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna fly. <laughs> so um, these are, I think these are boxes for screws and stuff like that so it's kind of it's kind of big <laughs> i have two um as you can see i have up here so this is just how i do it i have these standing on um a drawer just in my bedroom because i don't have space for it i had them on the wall but then we changed them and it's a it's a whole new thing okay <laughs> so um up here I have things I don't use much. I have my Krynik, so I can pull these out. This fit the Krynik beautiful. I don't have a lot. I don't like Krynik, so that's why I don't have a lot. But I have Krynik's and I have the few Mill Hill treasures I have left. That I haven't gotten rid of yet. And I have Karen, like Karen Water Lilies in here fit. I don't have much of those either so so and I have 310 and I have the B52 equal and blank up here because they are all the same so when it comes to the DMC I have five colors in each of these sections in each of these um, I don't put them like I don't make them all fancy and stuff I just like when I'm done, I just like to, I just fold them up like this and I put them in. So I went through all my, I know I have a full set. And in here I have some skeins I haven't used yet. So I have at least one skein of each color in each of these. Now, I went through my set, uh, I didn't, I kind of got bored, so I, I, I've been through all of these, so these only have, I think, one skein of each color, some may have two because I had more, but I'm trying to have just one in each, so it's easy to kind of pull out, so, and that's kind of how I have it, so it's easy for me to find what I need. Um, if you see that one, you see that I have kind of like a floss thing with a number on it. 
that's my way of saying that I have a cone in this in this color so I don't like think that oh I need to buy another one because I do have cones in some of the colors because why not <laughs> so but um, how I keep track when I am working on it um, I of course I pull threads um, I have an app called thread organizer it's really handy um, you can kind of like put in uh, uh, an inv you have an inventory there and when I when I take oh I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself I had I had I had like a good way of doing this and then I don't so I'm just gonna pull this to the side a little bit so what do I do with the threads I have more of one way with off off it's early my baby was up after night so <laughs> sorry <laughs> so in my app i have the amount of threads i have in each color if i have more than one i keep them in these ziploc bags here i have all of the i have 100 well this is the 800s I have for 700, I have for 600s, I have for the 100s, I have for the 3800s. So I know I have like a drawer for these. So in my app I have, if, it, if I finish one of these uh, and the floss drop is empty or starting to get empty, I always check my phone to see if I have any extra. If I do, I just go and pick up here. I will, however, say, and this is a big thing that you may not think about when you buy a floss, especially if you buy from someone's stash, be aware that the dye lot change. I've had big problems with the, with these, the 14, uh, the grays in the 400s and the and the grays in the 300s um, some of them are gray and some of them are more purple gray so i had to like double check so what i do to prevent to <laughs> prevent that now is that i always check when my when my when i'm low here um is that i always pull out these and i check if they don't match, I pull out that can uh, that floss, and I lay it just in another bag and write old or something on that, and I buy a new skein, and hopefully that will match, because I have a lot of old skeins, and some colors aren't. There's not like big, but the grays, they are a huge problem problem for me. I don't know if, yeah. So, so what I started doing is that I use, I used to make, well, I still make my own floss drops actually. So we're gonna just jump to that. I made these ones at the start. These are, I actually have them here because I am organized. <laughs> so I bought like these books from Aliexpress. I think you can get them on. These are like, they have pretty things in them um these ones like I, I i don't know if they are for <sighs> scrapbooking i think uh these are pretty cheap you get like a lot of them so i pulled out each one i laminated them and then i use these which are like gift tags thingies to punch them out just be aware that which i did learn horribly <laughs> is that these get dull pretty fast because they aren't meant to be used on laminated paper but they look really cool so so when i made these i used that one and i used like the hole punch for the holes and i use i have these this is quite a handy tool this has a small like round and so if my holes aren't big enough i use this so that's how i used to make my floss drops now i 
use laminated paper and I use my Cricut usually. So anyways, I write on the back on the front, I have the number on the back. I write if it's like, if it doesn't say anything, I either don't know or it's a new set of TNC because you can, you can actually see on the tag, I'm going to show you. This is, I think this is, yeah, this is what a new DMC looks like with a, wow, you can't see anything, but it's real easy to see if it's old or new. This is, this is new. This is old. This is also old. So they have like, they look. They don't look the same and just be aware that when you pull out new colors, just like make sure that they are the same. Well, you can't have the same dialogue because that would be awesome, but uh, just be sure that the shades are the same because it's not given that they are. So, so I've started whenever I pull a new floss or put them on the floss drops, I always write old or I write cone or I don't write anything. So I know that if I'm going to pull out a new skein and it says on the back here that it's old, I will look for an old skein first. If I don't have that, I will check it with a new and just like see what I have because I DMC is really, really expensive here in Norway. They cost about yeah, over two dollars each. Uh, so I'm trying like not to buy too many. I have like a real good friend that's kind of, she spoils me. Um, so whenever I am in dire need of floss, I send her a text and ask if she has it. If she does, she will just send it to me for free. So that's kind of like, I have my own floss dealer. <laughs> if she doesn't have that, I will ask Rita if I can buy or I will ask around. And if no one has it, I will buy it. And that always hurts. So, so um, I'm just going to show because the, these are cool and pretty neat. I keep things in these. These are like a makeup subscription here in Norway. I don't know. I think they are Danish. I think you can get these in Scandinavia, but it's called Goody Box. Not that I'm gonna say anything nice about them, but the boxes are really nice. So I have like all of this stuff in here. So what I do use, which is kind of cool, you can get now these are kind of like in a mess, but you can get these. I used to use these to hang my floss in. I actually do have one right here, so I don't know why I'm doing that, but I am working on the project I'm working on behind me. I, <laughs> since I have to walk very far to pull my colors, I pull them and I put them on these. So I had them hanging, like it's easy to, and I do them by number. So it's kind of like very easy to, to get, and I can just like hang it on the side. I have like this Ikea storage. I don't know what you call it. But it's, it's kind of like the wall mount where you can like put all of your stuff. I have that. So I have like, I can just like hang it, hang it there. So it's easy to get. Um, I also use th these book rings. These are nice too. Just just make sure when you punch the holes in the top of your floss drops that they can fit through because if not, you are going to have a very bad time. So I've done that mistake. So that's how I, well, that's actually have, uh, how I used to have my, I had all of my projects had one of each on each of these and I have them hanging so it was it was really nice to look at because this was all these beautiful colors and stuff and if I 
I have like a small project I just pulled from them because it was easy to, to kind of like go through and see what I had um, but yeah it, it kind of didn't work suddenly so so yeah so that's how I store my extra floss I also have because me and Rita we bought some cones and we got half each so she sent me this so I have these two um, in my app whenever I have like a lot of these um, when I have like not normal DMC skeins I just put 10 in because then I know that I won't have like 10 skeins so I know I have I have a cone of doom I'm gonna show you my cones afterwards uh, later um, yeah so I'm just gonna I hope this makes sense I'm just gonna go through everything and just like talk about it and if you have any questions just ask I will answer I promise so I also have my I also have my etoile my petite treasure braid I have the skeins of the three tens and all of these like the B5200s uh, the Ecru and the Blanc I have in a box like this here I have my etoile just because I could have gotten them in these but I don't see why so but I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna give you a little tip with these if 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 you want to store your floss in boxes I actually I have a full set of these so I printed out a list of all the etoile and I have all of these because I just like went crazy and got them all um, so I know I can just like pull out they are in a mess but you know so it's easy for me to if I want to use one I can just like pick up this and see if I have it or not or if it's if it even exists so I, I use this a lot because I don't use beads I converted to floss so at while it's kind of like my first go-to since I don't have a lot of I hope to get more Crynex, I hope to get more Petite Treasure Braid so I can use those more because I love Petite Treasure Braid. It's my favorite. I like it more than it well, actually. So, uh, but they have a ton and it's kind of expensive to get from the UK. So someday I will have a lot and someday I will. Yes, so how I use, so I I have a few projects, I, well, I try not to keep floss in the project bag, unless it's like with the Pokemon, the big, my blanket, it's not a blanket, it's just really huge, um, I bought a lot of 844 and now I'm not sure what kind of red it is, but I bought those specifically for the project, so I sure that the dial dot didn't change those i keep in the bag and i do have them in the inventory list but i don't pull from them unless it's like small things but i don't like take them out so some skeins are bought specifically for a project they stay in that project bag um if it's a project like my dark queen of the earth I do when I work on her I usually keep my floss but that's just because I use them a lot so I don't have to like go and pull them out every day um, it, um, if I know I'm not gonna work on her for a while I do put them back in the master set but I usually just work on one or two projects at a time and uh, so if I 
if I suddenly want to start a new project and I go to my master set, set and the color isn't there, I know it's in with another project and I can usually know what time, where, because it's the color I'm like, these won't be in like protector, so it's easy to know. So, so I have a few. <laughs> um, so I made a few different floss drops. These are the ones I make with my Cricut. The holes are unfortunately too small for the rings, but since I don't use these on the rings, it's not a problem. Uh, this one is one I punched out with the puncher I showed you earlier. And so, you know, you can, and I use, I laminate them because they are sturdy. They are like, really, you can't like break these. And you can write with a pen or a marker. I just use like permanent markers. And you can actually, if you use alcohol, you can wipe this off and use it again. So I have a few empty ones. I always have a stack hanging here. Uh, so if I pull out a color for a project and it's not been put on these yet, I can just like take it and just like put it on. It's really easy. I, um, if you want to see how I do it, let me know. I can make a video that would be like two minutes, but so yeah, I just, so what I do when I pull threads like this, I just use, uh, I don't know if you can even see this, but it's really easy because these are cut. So these are the length I use. I usually I usually do a loop start whenever I use two strands. So you can just like get one of these threads and just like pull it out and it and you have it. So you don't have to like I used bobbins before at the start I didn't know any better. And I had to like unwind it and get it back and it was just like no. I, I kept using these for the last two years so 13 years, I don't know. I started cross stitching in 2019, I think. So I've actually been, I've been going on for a while. Feels like a lot. So, so this is how I, and yes, this, this is called a thread bed. It's like with a, I don't know what you call them, but I get this with this, um, these are from Dawn at the Gamma's Treasures shop on Etsy. I will have a link below. She's awesome. And she also, these also have a magnet so you can put your needle on it. And it's awesome. I am obsessed with this. So these bags are amazing. So for my um, stem kits, I just put them on the thread things that I come on. Uh, I've had a little bit of problems with them bending, so I may try to make my own with laminated because I love having my own things laminated. Um, so I may make my own afterwards because I found out a really, really nice way of having my floss on these long floss cards and not like go insane. So. This is a kit from Gecko Rouge. They come in these handy dandy floss cards and they hang. So I put those book rings on there. I don't know if I made the holes bigger. I can't remember. I think I did. Maybe, maybe not. So I just like, I just flip it and it is so nice. Um, I won't do this, I won't use this on like the ones I have floss drops on because why? Um, but on kits from like Gecko Rouge or stamp kits, I will try to make these because these are awesome, they are sturdy, they are easy to find and yeah, so I, I keep them on these and as you, I can just like flip back and forth super easy and when I'm done I'm just like boop, done put them away so that's 
And these book queens, I got them from... I got them from AliExpress because Amazon is really expensive with shipping for me, so... But you can get these, like... I will not say everywhere, but a lot of places. And they are cheap, you can buy like in bulk, so... And they have different sizes, they have small and yeah. So that's really nice, I would really highly... Yeah. Um, and these rings too, I don't know what they are called. But you just like screw them like that, and then you put them. Mm. <laughs> then you <laughs> then you screw them tight, and then they are so they are really nice, really easy. I love them, so I had both. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna talk about how I do them. No, I'm gonna show you my last way of keeping floss or how I keep my I thought this video was gonna be long it's not gonna be long because I'm like I have actually I have a little bit of a I have a list I've actually talked about all of this so that's good so I have a box with my ex well it's not ex well, it's extra floss, isn't it? This is a box from Ikea. My daughter <laughs> So I had like... I used to, to have these for my diamond paintings. Now I have it for cones and floss. And these fit in my... cabinet really well. So... This is like... I don't know if it's... So, here I have my, now you can see what kind of, so, I have some anchor floss because I got them from my mom, um, I don't know why I don't use these, I think that if I'm gonna like do something and do my own colors, I can just use this, this but I forget that I have them, so, and some of these I pulled from, like, um, I don't know what these are. Oh yeah, I actually did, I have like, I haven't seen this in, in like a year, so I actually have them numbered. That's like so cool. Oh no, wow. <laughs> I didn't know that, so I actually have... I have anchor floss numbered. And there are conversion tables on the internet. It's easy to find what a 305 anchor is to DMC. So it's not a problem. I should use these a lot more, but I don't because I forget that I have them. Um, but yeah, I have like a lot of unused ones. So. I, I don't know why I don't use them, I just, well I do, I forget that I have them, so, I just have them, I like boxes, so this is my, this is the box my tablet came in. So, I have also cones. These I got from a lady in Norway, uh, she, she was going to have like a cross stitch online shop and she never really did anything with it so she has like these cones in a lot of different colors so I just like picked the ones I needed actually three or four of these are standing down are with my mom because she thinks they look cool so I have like three or four more of these <laughs> just because they're nice to look at and I, I agree these are really nice and I have of course my oh by the way this six 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 worst thread ever I don't like six 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 three two one it's but I think it's three two one yeah so this is my cone of doom this is actually half the cone of doom because I think that me and Rita shared Cone of Doom, so we have Cone of Doom is split. So this is, I will not 
have a problem with black and I have a lot of stains of black too so black isn't a prob problem anymore so I have these like I try to put them nicely and fit them all in so I mean like the problem I'm just gonna say it the problem with these versus stains isn't that you have well these are excellent if you want to do a sampler and you want to be sure you have a lot of the same dye lot because this is the problem is that these can be very old so the threads are aren't as fluffy and i've noticed i've never had like br uh, like a thread break on me i did have a problem with one of these so just be aware i don't think they sell these well these are actually from gmc and these are 100 gram cones these are these aren't full by the way um and i paid i don't know how I think I paid like $15 each for them, I think. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I mean, A20. And I have like a lot of like peach and yep. Anyways, if you can get your hands on cones and you do a lot of samplers, do it. It's actually, and, and they are really pretty to look at. So why not? So, um, so in these I also have, because one of the shops I buy from in Norway is called Ruto Hobby. I think it's Danish. I think. Uh, and they had like a sale on these. Never heard of them before. They are eight ply. No? Yes. These are like DMC only in a different they are DMC but they the skeins are the same so I got a lot of the cone and they look so pretty when you open it look it's it's like it's like old so they are like and there's 24 skeins in each of these they usually go for about almost $30 for a box I got them for like five or seven or eight when they were on sale so i got like i got everything so i have a lot of the same so you can see the color number here i'm sure i can find the dmc equivalent but i don't really i don't really want to because i will use these for like sample i'm gonna use these for ragnarok by the way so I have a lot of, like I haven't unopened these, this is like a really nice green um, and I have a few of the same. So I have, here I have two boxes, that's 48 skeins. I have a lot of skeins. So these are just like, no I have another box. <laughs> I mean like. I have another one. So I have three boxes with 24. So I mean like a long dog sampler, a big one. No problem. I got it. I have these. I have my cones. It's all right. <laughs> but of course I don't use these for normal things when like I can't use these for like um, full coverages because I mean why? But for samplers, these are great. So if you find, if you can find boxes of of um, cotton thread, which is the same ply as DMC, um, and you like doing samplers and stuff, well, you can actually use it for everything. But you know, it's really nice to have. You 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 don't have to just stick to DMC or CXC. There's a lot of other things, so I kind of like uh, fell over. Well, I I just like discovered these, and I was like, "Ooh, that's a good deal." So I have a lot. 
not. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you my. I think this is my favorite color. This is the blue one. It's really. This is. I would actually say this is the equivalent. No. You see, like, it's not that far off an 820. And I'm like. Well, 820 is kind of, I think it has more purple, but you know. Look how nice they lay. I love these. And the boxes are like old and stuff, so they don't smell, thankfully. So that's kind of like where I keep my extra clothes that I forget that I have. So. Yeah. I think that everything I'm like looking around trying to see if I've forgotten anything but I don't think I have so um, I'm just gonna show you again this just like this really works for me and you can put them on the wall and should I talk about me though I will I will I have my needles in this. I have it by my side, of course. Um, so I got these from AliExpress again, China. So I just write underneath the size because they came. They come in like 24, 26, and 28, and I always forget which is which. Now I know because I write it underneath, and I just keep them in here. They don't last like very long like uh, a lot of other things does but i mean it's not a problem so i have a lot of these here i have my 26 and what i do with them when they are broken or i don't break i just like wear them out like the middle kind of gets like this odd thing i have one of these that's called waist I don't know if you can see it here. And then like I put all my used broken in here and when it's full I just like I don't know how to properly discard these, but I will probably just like glue them together and uh, put them in uh, just like to be sure that they don't poke anyone. But I kinda like having them around so uh and I'm just gonna share with you a little trick that I have, which I really like. These are my scissors. Uh, I got these at the local food store here. I really like them. They aren't like super fancy, but you can you can get real close with them. They are really easy. I have two of them. And then I put I use these for threaders. Um, you can buy these in bulk and I use this end to pull. So these are always with my scissors. So I don't have to like, yeah, I have it, I have it here. And I used to have an, a big needle hanging here just when I had to frog, but I don't frog much. And now I just use the needle I have and I have, I have like uh, some of my, I have some of my needle miners hanging here with some big needles. That's our, they are for like fucking count and stuff. And I just pull them out when I need them. So it's easy. I always have needles hanging. <laughs> That's good when you have kids, right? So, I mean, like, I've seen that a lot of people have like a stitching nook and all. I kind of do too, but. I always stitch here. This is where I stitch because I always watch uh, something on my PC. Because um, I don't, I like my chair. <laughs> my chair is really good to sit in. <laughs> it's really old too, but um, so this is where I stitch. And I have like a lamp. I don't. I have like a ring light on this, like so I can move it around. Um, I actually got that one for making diamond painting videos so I could have my my phone up but then I <laughs> when 
I mean, I look at it, it looks so odd. <laughs> because I kind of like it. There's like scripts here. I just... It, it, it doesn't even fit, but I made it fit. So, I mean, like, it... I love it. I, ca I, I can't be without it. <laughs> so that's my light. So I can, like, get it really low and... Because I sit a long way back when I stitch. I sit here and I sit here, so... That's kind of off topic, topic but yeah. Um, where I, what I do with my odds and ends. I put them in these. I just emptied. This is for so full. Uh, it takes me one and a half years to fill out one of these. So I just put my ends in there and I just put it on the side. So... And I also have these with like extra rings and a measuring tape. And I have these ones to collect my fabric. I have these ones. These didn't work as well as I was hoping for, but you know, at least I have them. So I have a lot of things hanging and it's easy for me to just like pick, pick it down if I need it. And this is my newest searches. I love them. They are looking great. I have, I have no idea what they are called, but these are the ones you kind of like roll your extra floss around and you like. And I have the big one and I have the one with the weight. So this one actually you can use the magnet and just like make it stick on your project because it's really, it's really heavy. So. It stays, stays. So I have like a bag of these just like laying around. <laughs> I should probably get these put away. But me. So yeah, I have a lot of scissors hanging here. I have a special pair of scissors. So yeah, that well, it actually went really. I managed to talk a lot again. So yeah. Um. That's it for my floss and threads and needles and stuff. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, this is a way that works for me. Um, everyone is different, of course. Um, maybe you got some ideas. Maybe not. But I really... Did I say that I have five colors of each in these? Yes, I did. So, well, I can, I can, I can just like say now because I will, I forgot it. The way I found out how many or which colors because there's not TMCs from from color one and two like three. There's not like over three thousand colors. So I just printed out the list of all the DMC colors and I just like found out what and I just like what's it called yeah so I used that list to find out which colors goes in where so really easy it's pretty to look at and yeah I don't use much time finding my stuff now I just like go in there my eye scanner and then like bing, I know what, what where to find things now so it's really easy and these are just like stickers that you can just like pull off if you want to change and you can always just like change it up and move them around and do what fits you best so and these aren't that expensive I think I paid like $20 for one you can get it at a hardware store or something like that I don't know I think yeah so they work work really well and they fit the skeins perfectly so yep and just a little tip get one of these i have an old one because i can't afford the new uh, book but i've used these a lot these are all the dms well it's not all of them because this is old but these are really handy to have so i have them on my little chaos rack there so yeah 
But anyways, if you have any questions or comments or anything, let me know. Um, yeah, I think that is it for my floss. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, if you wanna, um, if you wanna have a, a video of how I stitch it for coverage or anything like that, let me know. I will be happy to make almost whatever you want if you're interested um yeah i hope you enjoy this uh have a good day it's raining here <laughs> and i need to eat <laughs> i'll see you soon hopefully see ya bye